Hello guys, to this video, let's talk about the Chinese characters Hui. When we need a certain skill, we could say 我会了,我会了. 我会了. 会 in the sentence can be translated as understand or know. Usually, the common expression are 会了 or 会 something le. Subject plus 会 plus knowledge or skill plus le. For example, after a teacher finish uh, explaining a topic and ask the students, 这道题你会了吗? 这道题你会了吗? Do you get it, this question now? Then the students may reply, 我会了, 我会了, which means the student understand what the teacher is planning. Similarly, we could say, 我会做这道题了. 我会做这道题了。I figured out how to solve this question. Now I understand. Furthermore, we can also say 我会游泳了。我会游泳了。I've learned to swim, which means after learning, I now know how to swim. Hui denotes the capability to do something, uh, meaning we've got a skill from learning. It can be translated as can or able to. The typical structure is subject plus hui plus skill or knowledge. Just so you know, when we refer hui to skill or knowledge, we are talking about what we learned, not ability since we born with, such as the ability to see or hear. And the hui has this meaning. We typically do not end of the sentence with lo. So this point can be distinguished from the previous usage. For example, 我会游泳。我会游泳。I can swim. Here, 会 indicates the ability to swim. If friends wanted to invite me to swim today, they may ask in advance. 你会游泳吗? 我们去游泳吧? 你会游泳吗? 我们去游泳吧 Can you swim? Let's go swimming. I could then respond with 我会游泳。我会游泳. I can swim. This implies that I have the skill to swim, so I can join in fine, no need to teach. On the other hand, if I need help but I can't speak Chinese, I may ask someone, 你会讲英文吗? 你会讲英文吗? Do you speak English? If the answer is 我会讲英文, 我会讲英文, I can speak English. It means the person can speak English and is willing to convert in English instead of Chinese. In both cases, 会 signifies a learned skill or ability. When 会 describes future happenings, it mainly suggests that uh, something will or might take place, but is not certain. Uh, for this meaning, Hui can be translated as might or will in context of uncertainty. The sentence structure is subject plus Hui plus verb or situation. Let's see some examples. 明天会下雨。明天会下雨 It may rain tomorrow indicates that based on some signs um, there is a possibility of rain tomorrow but maybe not 如果你继续这样 他会生气的 如果你继续这样 他会生气的 It's like saying if you don't change what you're doing uh, he will likely get upset later on we're guessing, but there is a 90% chance he will get angry. So for this usage, if you want to device deeper, check out HSK Book 3, Lesson 3. Find more. So this video, I wrap up three usage to use Hui. Uh, I hope this is helpful to you. Then see you next time. Bye-bye.